Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple gift cards to your friends and family this holiday season. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the TMOS Boss Show. Yesterday, I had talked on how I got into it with this guy named Clockwork uh, Cyborg, and that was the first time like I've ever beefed with somebody on uh, YouTube. And um, I still remember that beef like till this day. Like it's uh, it's it's something that's like very memorable because of just all of the stuff that had happened, why it happened, and all of that. Plus, it being like. The first time I actually had beef with somebody, I feel like that, you know, something like that, you're going to remember. So, today's episode, I'm going to be talking on the first time I had ever beefed with somebody on YouTube. So, Clockwork Cyborg, um, who was he? He was, I don't even really know, he was overall a YouTuber. I don't think he does YouTube videos anymore. If he does, he's probably going underneath a different uh, name. But, um... He was, I, I can't really like talk on what type of videos he did because it was, I had really only went to his channel when he made a video about me. So other than that, like I didn't really know what he did outside of making videos on me. But I think that's what brought my attention to his channel was that he was making videos about other YouTubers. So he was kind of like a Keemstar a little bit, but... I don't know, like, I wouldn't really put him in that category as Keemstar, but anyways, um, let me get my fan real quick, because it's, it's starting to get a little bit warm in my room, but anyways, so he had uh, made a video on this YouTuber that I had watched named uh, CJ So Cool. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who CJ So Cool is. He was like an OG uh, reaction channel. Um, he doesn't really do reaction videos anymore. He more so does like family vlog videos or like prank videos on his kids or wife. So, uh, but at one point in time, CJ So Cool was doing, uh, reaction videos. And so he did do like a, uh, prank video talking on like how he was, uh, breaking up with his, uh, or that he broke up with his, uh, girlfriend. And, um, a lot of people was, you know, I, um, believing in it. Cause I was like, yo, wait a second, what? And then, uh, then I, or actually, you know, no, that's what it was, is that I hit, so he came out in the video and said there was a prank, but then I looked back in previous videos, and I was just like, oh, I can see how something like that is believable, plus on how he started the video off, he made it seem like that they just randomly, so he was pranking his fans, CJ So Cool was pranking his fans, and, uh, so, I think it was in that video, um, I had seen the comment sections, more so to just, you know, see what people was gonna be writing about and things, and seeing their reactions to it. And uh, that's when I seen Clockwork Cyborg. He was making comments talking about I was um, that. Oh, I made a video about their breakup, but he was like leaving it. I was like watching other videos of his because CJ so cool. He was that's what the thing was with a lot of uh, people that did reaction videos is that they would upload like a massive amount of reaction videos. So kind of like what I'm doing, YouTubers uh, or people that did reaction videos was uh, doing that back in the day. So. Anyways, um, I would look through his other videos that he uploaded through, um, throughout the day. And yeah, that guy was just all in his comment section. talking about, oh, I made a video about the breakup. I made a video about the breakup. So uh, I think I was like, you know, seeing that. I'm not like, bro, I just don't understand. I Here's my thing. I don't like when people spam the same comment over and over again. So I think that's more so why I had uh, responded to him saying like, you know, dude, it was a prank, like it ain't real. So stop spamming your comment like and things like people are trying to see other comments and it's just getting drowned out by yours talking about, oh, I made a video about the breakup. So anyways, um, so I think he had said something about me and we ended up kind of getting into an argument in CJ So Cool's uh, comment sections. And then I think I had made the first video. I think, yeah, I was the one that had made the first video. So 
I had, yeah, I was just all like, you know, overall telling people what was going on and what happened. And then Clockwork Cyborg, he made like a response to that video. And then at some point in time, that's when we came across um, the Glenn. Well, I think he was already dealing with Glenn Gregan. But uh, that's when I came across the Glenn Gregan kid. So uh, as I was beefing with um, Clockwork Cyborg, yeah, Glenn Gregan was like going back and forth between our channels and stuff. And I'm like, bro. I just, I don't like fans like that. Don't go back and forth between the person I'm beefing with. It's either you become a fan of me or you become a fan of them. But going that, doing that back and forth stuff, I'm not cool with that. So it's like, at least if you are going to do that, don't tell me about it. Like, I just not. Nah, like, that's, because that, if once you tell me about it, I'm like, okay, well, then you're like some sort of spy. Like, you're like, oh, I stopped being a fan of them so I can be a fan of you or the other way around. I'm like, nah, I don't need that. So anyways um so me and clockwork cyborg we were getting um into it going back and forth making videos about each other and then uh i think it came to a point in time where we were just all like you know what hey like we need to stop this like it's done and over with we said what we need to say let's just move on he came to an agreement i came to an agreement and then at that point we were cool like there was really nothing else to you know discuss or talk about so we were done beefing and uh, i told any of my fans that was on his channel i said hey like you know the beef is done it's over with and then he came out in the video he said the beef was done and over with and so from there we moved on and uh yeah and it was after that we never uh beefed again and i was expecting this to be like 15 minutes so now i'm gonna have to find other things to talk about i'm trying to think like there wasn't really anything else to... I, I should, like, switch this to, like, the minor beefs that I got into as I... As, like, my YouTube career is, like, progressing and stuff. But, yeah, um... And then I think the last time I had talked to him, I was at this restaurant. And then, uh, Glenn Gregan, of course, just being weird in the comment sections and on YouTube in general. Uh, he had, uh, hit me up, I think, to just overall see how I was doing... And I'm like, bro, I'm chilling. I'm like out with my family and stuff, just having me some food and things. I like, how's life with you? And he telling me everything's cool with him. So he, uh, and then I think there was like, it wasn't too long ago. It was at, well, it might have been like a few years ago. He left a comment underneath one of my videos. But I think he was going underneath a different name. So he wasn't even going by the Clockwork Cyborg name. I just recognized his uh, picture. And that was it. And so I was like, I think that was like the last time I heard from him was a few years ago. And um, yeah, from there, it was like, all right, you know, I hope he's uh, I hope he's holding up. I hope he's doing OK. I know with this pandemic and things like actually, you know, what? no, this still is going to be about Clockwork Cyborg. I'm thinking more so much I figure out what's going on with the guy because, you know, like it's uh, I haven't heard or seen from him. And then it's like you go and look him up on YouTube and can't really find nothing. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do some, like, straight up, like, what, what they be doing in that TV show, uh, Catfish. Yeah, we're gonna be doing what they be doing in Catfish and trying to figure out some stuff. So, there's a video up saying who's Clockwork Cyborg. Let's click on that. Uh, channel. Oh, is the channel still? Oh, this channel doesn't exist anymore. So, he deleted his channel. Uh, go subscribe. Who is this? I wonder if this person that uploaded this video is still active. They're probably not even active. Oh, they are still active. They uploaded uh some videos on Gotham Knights. So they're they're a Gotham fan. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, they're just doing like news videos. But thirty seven thousand subscribers. Hey, that's that's actually I'm subscribed to them. When did I subscribe to them? Huh? I'm trying to think. Dang, I don't remember. I, honestly, I do not remember. Wow, that's crazy. But anyways, uh, don't worry about the dislikes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, that's one thing about Clockwork Cyborg. Uh, his uh, fans, it's just like any other fans. Um, they, you know, any videos that's like done about them, they'll dislike the videos. And that's, that's why I'm like with dislikes, they don't, you know, get to me at all because I dealt with it already. So Clockwork Cyborg, that's like why I wanted to like really do like an episode based on him because he showed me like, you know, beefing with him, it showed me how people can act and what people can do and things to uh i guess you know like if they're somebody's attacking their favorite youtuber it's like no nah, they're not going to leave it up to the youtuber no they're going to take the law into their own hands and be like uh, oh you know now nah, i'm going to attack your channel and all of that so that's i'm like 
I, uh, yeah, I, I just, I never really tripped on, like, you know, as, and as long as the dislikes have been going on for, uh, just, a, um, with just a robot, um, Clockwork Cyborg, he just, he taught me a lot about that, so I'm like, I, uh, that's why I'm like, dislikes, it just never got to me and things, but, anyways, uh, there's like, uh, one person said a month ago, uh, where is his channel now, I know he quit uploading, and deleted his videos, but he still had a channel with Doctor Who videos on it. So he was like active, but he um he just he just he stopped. Huh. Wonder if there's saw his channel got deleted. So he must I think he did delete his channel at one point in time. I really don't know who this person is that made this video on him. They just I think they just randomly made a video on him. Because it's like, there wasn't no, I don't think I left any comments underneath this video. I don't remember liking the video. It might have been somebody that was just, uh, overall, um, you know, just being cool in my comment sections. Uh, somebody's all like, Tyro Magnus meets, wants to meet Clockwork Cyborg. Was he going at it with Tyro Magnus? He might have went at it with Tyro Magnus. I feel like he might have. Oh, I need a water break real quick. This video it doesn't even have any comments. It's just up like by, but uploaded by somebody named Mr. Charles, huh? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. With, and that video was uploaded in 2018. So I'm trying to think. I can't remember if he left a comment under my video in 2017 or 2018. But I remember it was at some point in time, like long after the beep. And I was just like, oh, wow, he's, he's still uh, active. But people are all like Clockwork Cyborg. Uh, is dead. Clockwork Cyborg is um, exposed. Caught subbotting. Fake subs. Clockwork Cyborg. Bat Roulette. So this, uh, so I think yesterday I was talking on the, uh, I feel like that was like one thing I forgot to talk on. So Clockwork Cyborg, um, was friends with this guy. I don't even know if he does videos anymore. This like Bat Roulette person. But, uh, he used to, uh, be chill with them. Yeah, he hasn't done videos in three years. He's probably, I want to see if he's, like, maybe active on, uh, social media. Follow me on Twitter. He's probably going to be active on Twitter. He might be. I will show he, uh, made a post in April of this year. Huh. So he's, like, he's, well, that was it, but, oh. Then last time before that, he tweeted it was in 2018, so he ain't even active himself either. So, Facebook, maybe he's active on Facebook. Nope, last time he posted uh, was in 2019 on that. So he's, I think he's hung up the YouTube stuff. Um, excuse me, but yeah, I remember uh, when I was beefing with Clockwork Cyborg, uh, this Batman guy would uh, jump in and help him out and stuff. And yeah, it was pretty crazy. I was like, dang, bro. I'm all like, I just, I'm out here. I'm out here by myself. I'm like, I mean, what? I got my fans. That's about it. But pretty much, I'm out here by myself. But anyways, um, yeah, he's he's not... Yeah, Bat Roulette, he ain't doing nothing. There's just a lot of people. They're just... Uh, they made videos on... Now they even about Clockwork Cyborg no more. Let me see if, uh, if I search him up on Google, if I can find something. Nothing, man. Dang. This guy, he's... Uh, he's gone. It's like type in YouTuber, but I'm just I'm not seeing any things. I'm not seeing anything at all. Dang, best YouTuber. Somebody made a tweet. Clockwork sign. That was like from four years ago. Is this person active? They hadn't tweeted since 2016. Dang, it's like that was just like the year everybody just like disappeared from. Uh, uh wait a second. CJ so cool. Did he delete his? He must have deleted. Oh, he deleted. No, he think he deleted his Twitter account. CJ so cool. They're all like this. This tweet is from an account that no longer exists. Huh? Did he? Wait a second. Hold on. I know CJ so cool. He's like a pretty big YouTuber. Why would he delete his uh, Twitter account? Oh, he really doesn't have a Twitter account. Huh? All right. I for some reason I just thought he had it. Oh, he's thirty one years old. He's the same age as my sister. I didn't realize he was the. Um, I thought he was like. I don't know why. I assumed he was like. Like in his twenties still or something, but anyways, um, no, I want to, I don't want to favor that. Why would I favor that? 
uh yeah that's uh there's like it was like open up a tab thing for um cj so cool just says google search i'm like no nah, i'm not saving that now nah, that's no no disrespect i'm just like no nah, that ain't me but anyways uh dang man yeah clockwork cyborg he's just gone he's yeah i can't find i literally can't find nothing of that guy yeah it's just what youtube videos like old videos and stuff and then it was like the recent video was uh the 2018 one but yeah i can't find nothing of that man huh that's crazy huh that's some wild stuff is this him no that's just that's just a random video man that's crazy that is some crazy stuff all right well I guess uh, Clockwork Cyborg no longer exists on the YouTube platform, so... And that being said, uh, yeah, I know that this is gonna be beyond 15 minutes, so I'm like, just gonna wait a few more seconds, and 15 minutes, cool, alright, so anyways, this was a, now it was a full episode, but anyways, thank you guys for watching and or listening, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe, and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up, and if you're purchasing tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will knock $20 off of your first purchase. And if you're purchasing any gear from Vasilo, make sure you guys use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will knock 10% off of your next purchase. I have a referral link in the description um, of all my latest videos on my main channel and on my gaming channel so you guys can go check it out. I also have an ad video that I made um, that you can see some of the gear in that video and stuff. So yeah, go check it out. Um, thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.